What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Lost member of the Adams Family's <laughs> favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the SH Figuarts Infinity War Thanos, and I got news for you. It's pretty spectacular, but let me stop bragging about it. We'll jump right into accessories. He comes with two additional head sculpts, which are both awesome. And this is what I'm talking about when I talk about companies doing additional heads or faces. They should be heads or faces that aren't too specific. These are iconic faces of the character that you would definitely want to utilize if you were trying to display them in a specific scene or pose. They all make sense. It's not super specific in the sense of obscurity. It's super specific in the sense of characterization coming through in a sculpt design for a display. Dead on the money. And then he comes with a couple hands. Now I'm going to get your hands, the relaxed pose hands, and then the snapping hand, which is very nice, and then the two glove hands uh, for the same pose, and the detailings are the same, so we'll talk about that when we get to the figure. Now let's talk about this figure, because I can't wait to get it on my shelf. The head sculpt, it might be their best ever. It is so perfect. Like, it might be their number one. The eyes, like, it's so sharp and clean and, like, carries such a mood with it. I, I, can't, I can't go on enough about it. It's really well done. We'll take the head off. Double ball peg from the head into the neck. And a single from the neck into the chest. Using both, you get the head down to there, up to there, side to side, tilt, etc. The upper chest, we have the gold paint and black paint, silver paint, and then the blue detailings. This is the, all the digital sculpting, but it looks great. Double ball peg from the chest into the abdomen with a pretty great range. It gets a little, little jammed up here because of the cut, but all in all works well. And then it's a single from the abdomen into the pelvis. Once again, it doesn't give you much forward. Uh, you do get the swivel. It's not an extreme range, but it should get you what you need. We don't have an extreme range as it is. You know what I mean? So that all works fine. A little tight tolerance-wise, so that needs to be noted. Uh, little teapot, etc. You can get back a fair bit, which I think is maybe even more important. Rather than having hunched over, he's a stand-tall kind of guy. For the shoulders... We have an old school butterfly joint that swivels out here and tucks inside the chest. And then we have a ball peg coming out to a ball hinge, which was an interesting choice, I thought. And using both, you can get the arm fairly far in front of the chest and a little bit back. You can get it out to 90 degrees. You can get it swiveled around. You can drop it down. You can get it up. It's really quite well done. And then the swivel is here as opposed to the bicep. Double jointed elbow. The colors are a bit off from the arms in the joint, but I don't think you'll recognize it, especially on a shelf. You can barely recognize it under these harsh lights. The sculpting and stuff looks great, and there is some subtle shading throughout. Ball hinge hands. So that gets you forward and back, and then you can swivel it and then swivel the hand back around and get, uh, it didn't go, let's see. Get the up and down. And we'll swivel that up and down. Good, all right. Same for the other side, except on this, we have the gauntlet with very crisp gold paint and then actual like costume jewelry jewels for all of the gems. It should also be noted that the ball hinge here for the glove does slide out so that you can get a more extreme range and you don't have to worry about uh, scratching the gold paint. Oh, that's beautiful. The pelvis, we have the gold and black paint and then we have this extra softer piece that's attached. Shouldn't get in the way of articulation of the lower legs, which all the sculpting in the pants and such looks dead on the money. And then we have T-jointed ball joints for hips. They do drop down. And this leg here is loose. Very, oh, maybe it just came undone a little bit. Okay, so you, you just don't wanna push it too far. I got gotcha. you. So you can get it about that far forward, which I think is fine. And that far out to the side, which I also think is fine. 
you get a little bit of a swivel but not much so you could get a little bit more you know how i feel about thigh swivels you don't need a whole lot but it would be nice to get a little bit more however the swivel at the ankle will help make up for it so it should all work out sculpting in the pants looks great as i've mentioned single hinged elbow on a ball hinge that does very well and gets you 90 degrees and then we have the boots a little squeaky there gold and silver or or should i say silver and gold and then the black as well blue paint on the boot looks great it's a gloss and then we have the ankles which like i said do swivel they're on a ball hinge so you'll get an ankle tilt up an ankle tilt down a toe hinge which is at a nice cut i think and then if you swivel it around you get an ankle rocker but it's not the greatest and then there he is from the back just a uh, you know what i might have to say marvelous effort so obviously this shelf is going to be reworked now display wise i just wanted to give you an idea of how large he was compared to the rest these are all fig wars with the exception of the hulk which is a figma oh god it's good and there it is next to a standard Marvel Legend. So, I mean, he's a big figure. Uh, it's probably the biggest Figuarts figure I've looked at. I want to say, anyway, I'd have to probably go through my mental catalog, but offhand, for sure. The only real negatives I have, I wish we could get a little bit more articulation out of the thigh swivel. Wish we could get a little bit more of an ankle rocker. And wish we could get a little bit more of the waist swivel. The only other issue I have is there's some joint inconsistencies. I got that ball peg that wants to pop off at that one hip. And then I got a couple squeaks going on throughout that I'm sure you heard. And I didn't want to make him mad by saying that, but he's gotten pretty upset it seems. But uh, it doesn't mean I don't have a whole lot of good to say. The sculpt on the money, the paint on the money, the glove, everything, like it feels like he just... Just walked out of the screen and onto your shelf. Price is reasonable. Materials feel great. Cleans up well. Some of the Figuart stuff recently has kind of been a little iffy, like roller coastery, like pretty good to okay to good. This is great. This is where they should be operating at. This is the level right here. This is the bar. They should be meeting this every time. Almost everything about this figure works perfectly, and I can't recommend it enough. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Till next time, take care.